A question many Persona fans have is the dominant color motif of each game. While it is possible that these are just design and aesthetic choices, it is also possible to connect these colors to the themes of each game. Despite having similar mechanics and overarching themes, each one of the recent Persona games have a distinct tone and mood which shapes the game's story and experience. This series will explore the connection of the color motif to the game's themes. Blue is the color of Persona 3. Blue is often associated with rainfall and sadness, which captures the game's somber tone. Blue is also associated with underwater and dreams, reflecting the game's surreal imagery during the dark hour. Memento Mori is a recurring theme in the game, which means remember that you have to die, or remember you are mortal. It is a reminder on how life is temporary and how death is inevitable. Death is perhaps the biggest theme in Persona 3. Many characters deal with the death of a loved one. Some would lash out in anger, others would find peace with it. Regardless, death or the fear of death motivates many characters. But the game also explores how one can make the most of their limited time on Earth. The blue of Persona 3 symbolizes mortality and peace, emphasizing how tragedy and death can shape a person, how to overcome that grief, and making the most of life's momentary nature. From this point on, the video will heavily discuss the plot of Persona 3. If you don't want spoilers, then head out now. This is your only warning. With that, let's begin. During the events of Persona 3, all of the main characters deal or will deal with the death of someone close to them, and we see how this devastates them. Yukari deals with the death of her father, causing her to have some lingering resentment towards him and keep people at a distance. Koromaru deals with the death of his master and maintains a vigil over where he died. This could also be said of some of the social links. Bunkichi and Mitsuko still mourn the death of their son by trying to keep the tree he planted alive. Nozomi is often compared to his deceased brother, which causes him to have a very bitter and delusional view of the world. In some cases, the characters do not deal with death but with tragedy or a bad situation. However, it is no less devastating. Fuka is often bullied which leads to her getting stuck in Tartarus. Junpei hated his father for being an alcoholic and losing their money. Maiko struggles with the divorce of her parents. She feels helpless in her situation and this causes her to be reckless. Hidetoshi's father was turned into a scapegoat and imprisoned, leading him to believe that power is the only thing that matters in the world. Mamoru has to put college and his athletic career on hold while he takes care of his siblings, and this frustrates him greatly. In other cases, characters are dealing with something they consider a deep personal failure or regret. Aegis deeply regrets having to seal death inside of the protagonist. The Kirijo group is ashamed of the part they played in creating the Dark Hour, and tries to right this wrong. The theme of regret is explored more in the Persona 3 FES campaign, The Answer. Another major theme of the game is how characters react to their own mortality. There are those like Chidori that become numb to the world. She sees life as nothing but pain and distance herself from her own emotions and other people. She even seeks death by cutting herself. There are those who are filled with anger. Ken blames Shinjiro for the death of his mother and seeks to avenge her. There are those who try to fill their empty life with temporary excitement. Takaya is bitter because he has been given a power he does not want and forced to take a suppressant that will eventually kill him. As such, he uses the Dark Hour as a way of getting thrills, ignoring the dangers. While most of the seas fear the Dark Hour and seek to end it, Takaya revels in it. Takaya sees everything as meaningless and sees bringing Nyx as the only significant impact he can make with his short life. He is jealous of the seas who can find hope and the will to live despite knowing how hopeless things are. There are those that try to seek life after death. Ikutsuki tries to bring about the fall by sacrificing the members of Cease. He believes that the world must be destroyed so it can be reborn anew, where he is the ruler. This could have been the original goal of the Kirijo group. While much of the game is focused on death and how it affects people, an equally important part of it is learning how to overcome grief and come to terms with death. Many characters do feel hopeless, but it is through their connection with others that give them the strength to continue. Sometimes that can come from words of encouragement. When Mitsuru doubted if her life had any meaning, Yukari had to literally slap her out of it. 
Ken is only able to accept the death of Shinjiro and his mom when Akihiko helps him admit that the dead are not coming back. Sometimes the bond is able to transcend death. Junpei realizes how much Chidori cared for him when he sees her sketchbook and finds the picture of him. At Shinjiro's grave, Akihiko realized how wrong he was about strength, but remembering what his friend would say gives him the resolution to keep fighting. The blue motif of Persona 3 doesn't just deal with the somberness of death, but also peace. Not just finding peace with the death of a loved one, but also finding peace with your own mortality. The main characters learn that even if death is inevitable, that does not mean they cannot live full lives. Ryoji offers to remove the memory of the seas. He doesn't want them to live in despair for an inevitable demise. However, despite knowing that they might be facing an unbeatable enemy, the seas decide to face Nyx. They choose to live by believing in themselves, regardless if what they want to do is impossible or not. Shinjiro knew his time was limited due to the suppressants. He only rejoins Cease when he hears Ken joined. With what time he had left, he wanted to help Ken, even if it meant letting him have his revenge. Akinari resents many things, from the way people treat him differently to how he could die at any moment. But he slowly comes to terms with his fatal disease. The notebook that was filled with his curses to the world, he now uses to write a story about finding the meaning of life. In Persona 4, it is revealed that his story had been turned into a popular picture book. It seems what Akinari wanted to say was heard. Even if he couldn't find a meaning in his life, others did. The protagonist would give his life away to seal Nyx, but he was able to delay his death for a while. The final scene of Persona 3, at least the journey portion, is the protagonist with Aegis. Aegis vows to stay by his side, protecting him, unknowing that he had died in her arms. This irony is both cruel and moving. Aegis realized what she wanted to do with her life, what would give her life meaning. And even if she only got to do it for a short time, she still did it. The phrase memento mori is not just a reminder of death. It is also a reminder of how precious life is and to live it as best as you can. Do not allow the fear of death, regrets, or grief to dominate and control your life. While you cannot escape the pain of losing a loved one, your connections and the bonds with the people around you can help you find acceptance and peace. Since death is inevitable, all you can really do is make the most of the one life afforded to you. Thanks for watching. It should go without saying that this video is subjective. If you have a different interpretation for the blue motif of Persona 3, please share it in the comments below. Maybe it means something else? Maybe there are other things I missed? Maybe it doesn't mean anything? Feel free to share your thoughts. I might do videos on Persona 4's yellow and Persona 5's red, so consider subscribing. So wake up, get up, get out there, burn your dread, and pursue your true self. Until our paths cross again, see you, cease.